Financial data may seem overwhelming for some, but I will show you how to quickly analyze financial data by using basic math in Excel. So in this example, we have the income statement for a fictional company called ABC. In the income statement, we have various line items like net sales, cost of sales, gross profit. Then we have some expenses. We have earnings before interest and taxes. We have interest expense and various other line items. And then lastly, we have the net income attributable to ABC company. So when you want to analyze the P&L statement, you would want to do a vertical analysis, a horizontal analysis, and a trend analysis. You just need to understand the principles of each, and then it becomes very easy to do. So when we talk about vertical analysis, you have to go down vertically, and you need to express every line item as a percentage of sales. So for 2016, for example, you have to express the cost of sales, the earnings before interest and taxes, and all the other line items as a percentage of the 2016 sales. So the formula for this is very straightforward. When we talk about net sales, it will be C8, which is the net sales of 2016, divided by the net sales of 2016 again. So it will be C8 divided by C8. If we talk about the cost of sales, there will be C9, which is the cost of sales of 2016, divided by the net sales of 2016. Again, remember, we are expressing all line items in the year as a percentage of the net sales. So we repeat the same approach for all the other line items. And this is the result that we get. So we started with 100% of net sales. And as you go down the profit and loss statement, it starts to decrease because you take out the cost of sales, which was 87%, and the other expenses, and we are left with a net income margin of 4.7. So starting with 100% and then going down vertically and ending with a net income margin of 4.7%. We repeat the same process for the other three years, 2017 through 2019. So for 2017, we will express every line item as a percentage of sales in 2017. So we repeat the same process. And this is the result that we get. So starting off with 100% of net sales in 2017 and then ending up with a net income margin of 4.7. Coincidentally, the same net income margin as 2016, but that's fine. Let's repeat the process for 2018, 2019 and the budget. And this is what we get. So what you now see is you can easily start understanding how has the company performed in its fiscal years from 2016 through 2019. The net income margin remained steady at 4.7% and then it sort of dipped in 2018 and it has recovered slightly in 2019. However, if you look at the budget, we had budgeted a net income margin of 4.4% and in the last fiscal year, we were slightly short and we'll analyze that later. In horizontal analysis, you go horizontally in the income statement so if we are looking at net sales, we will look at how the sales have performed in 17 versus 2016. And in 2018, we will look at the, how the sales have performed in 18 versus 17 and so on. We will keep the first column or the 2016 column empty because this will be a baseline or the starting point for 2017. So keeping that empty, let's look at how the sales have performed in 2017 versus 2016. In order to do that, we'll just divide the, the sales number in 2017 with 16 and subtract it by one because we want a percentage. In 2018, we are going to divide the sales in 2018 by 2017 and subtract one. And we repeat the same process for December 19 and budget. Now, this is the result that we get. Having a quick look at these results, it seems to me that the year-over-year -year sales have decreased in all the years and the budget except in 2018, where the year-over-year -year sales were higher than 2017. Let's have a quick look. So looking at 17, so the sales were lower than 16. In December 18, the sales were slightly higher. In 2019, the sales were lower again than 2018. And in the budget, the sales were the lowest. So this makes sense. It seems the company is struggling as the sales 
have been decreasing on an year-over-year -year basis. We apply the same approach for the cost of sales, and this is the result that we get. Let's follow the same approach for all the other line items. So we have now populated our horizontal analysis table and looking at the net income or the bottom line of the profit and loss statement, even though the sales have been on the downward trajectory, the net income attributable to ABC company has been improving. And that is possible because the company might have implemented some strict cost management measures. So if you have a look at the cost lines, such as the selling and admin expenses, we will notice that is indeed the case because in 2019, the expenses have gone down by 5% and the other expenses, even though they have increased in 2019, if you look at the actual value of the other expenses, they are really small as compared to the SGNA expenses. So a decrease in the SGNA expenses is going to have a far greater impact than the increase in the other expenses. We can also do a simple trend analysis. So we'll take 2016 as a baseline and see how the company has performed for the three fiscal years and in the budget as compared to 2016. So in order to do that, the sales and the net profit will start at 100%. And then in 2017, we are going to divide the sales in 2017 by the sales in 2016 because we want to see the progress made since 2016. So the sales have been lower. They're at 97.6%. Let's repeat the same process for 18, 19 and the budget. And this is what we get. So the sales have indeed been on a downward trend. And if we apply the same logic to net profit, we see that even though the profitability did suffer in 17 and 18, but the company has recovered in 2019, and in the budget, the ambition is to have an even greater profitability at 76.2%. To further analyze the numbers, we can do a simple variance analysis. So if we want to compare the numbers in 2019 versus the budget, we will just subtract the figures in this column or column F with the figures in column G or the budget column. So let's do a simple variance analysis here. Let's call this column variance. And we just subtract the number in column F with column G. So for sales, it will be F8 minus G8. And we apply the same logic for all the other line items. And this is what we get. So the gross profit has decreased slightly in fiscal year 2019. And the profitability is also down. So even though the company's ambition was to have a higher net income, but the net income was lower. And in order to understand why the net income was lower, Yes, the gross profit was down by 24, but the biggest impact was because the selling general and administrative expenses were higher big time by $1,616. If you look at a PL, you might get overwhelmed. There is a lot of information in there and you cannot make sense of the data especially if you're just starting out in your financial careers. By utilizing simple mathematical tools, you can start to process that data. And Excel is a very good program to start processing that data. So we had a look at various analytical techniques in finance, such as the vertical, horizontal, and trend analysis. We also discussed the variance analysis, where you start to process the data in a PNL. So in our example, we had a look at the financial performance of ABC company and identified that the sales did struggle for the first few years, but there was an improvement in the financial data, even though the 2019 numbers were not as impressive as the budget and the company might need to revisit its expenses in order to be more financially stable. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.